Welcome back to the next video here in Lightroom 101. Today I'm going to show you how to create a watermark to put on your fabulous photo that you've spent so much time setting for, setting up for, taking and editing. And now let's export it and share it with the world. Or not, your choice. Now that we've spent all the time editing our photos, what we need to do is we need to export it. But before we export, we're actually just gonna show you how to create a watermark. So the first thing we need to know about watermarks is where to find it. So you go to the Lightroom in the top left corner next to the Apple, make sure that it says Lightroom Classic. It absolutely has to say that. Let's say that I clicked on Safari and had Safari open, um, but I minimized it. And so it looks like I'm in Lightroom. However, it says Safari up here in the top left corner. It has to say Lightroom. So I'll click back on Lightroom and there it is. I am in Lightroom Classic. So let's click on Lightroom Classic and go down to Edit Watermarks. When we click Edit Watermarks, this new window pops up and it will automatically have a custom name for us. So this is where I'm gonna type in Scotty Renner. Now we can see really small here that it shows um, exactly what I typed. So I can go ahead and select all of this and come over here to the right. I can change different fonts and it will show me a different different font and I can spend time scrolling through and, and changing that. Um, but for now, that one's pretty good. Um, I can change the color of that. So again, I need to highlight the name and select a color and I can select any different color that I want and close that out. And now it shows up green. Um, the two colors that you're going to want to use most often are either white or black. Um, those are the ones that I recommend. On occasion, it's, it's appropriate to use a different one. Um, but white and black are, those are the best colors to use. Okay. Um, so now let's, let's scroll down. And let's look at the anchor point. So we can see right now it's in the bottom left corner. If I click over in the bottom right corner, my logo will move top right, it'll move top right, it'll move. The best place um, for your watermark more often than not is in the bottom right hand corner. But you see how tiny that is and how it's right on the edge. We don't want it right on the edge of the photo. And so what we want to do is we want to do an inset. So we'll bring our inset horizontally to three and our inset vertically to two. And as we look at that, now we no longer see um, our watermark right on the edge. Okay. Next thing we do is going up, we can see the size. So if I click and drag, it will make my watermark bigger. Now we don't want our watermark super big um, cause then that just looks tacky. You know, people, when they look at your photo, they look right at your watermark and not the photo itself. What you want people to do is you want them to look at your photo and say, Hey, that's a really nice looking photo. And then when they're done looking at the photo, then they'll look for the watermark and say, Oh, Scotty, he did a really good job. And so we want it big enough to see, but hidden at the same time, if that makes any sense. Okay. And so part of hiding that is dropping the opacity. So what we do is we drop the opacity to where it shows up in the bottom right corner, but it's it's dropped. Um, I've had the most success um, and had some nice looking watermarks um, between 60 and 70%. Um, it depends on the photo, um, but there it is in the bottom right hand corner. That one looks pretty darn good. Okay. Um, don't worry about the shadow or anything else, but if you do want to add a shadow, you can add that, but we're not going to cover that today. When I'm done, um, I need to notice a couple different things. Um, we will click save. And so right now my logo, my watermark is titled Scotty Renner. So I'm going to click save. I'm going to call it oops, Scotty Renner. Now it's also in the bottom right hand corner. So I'm going to go BR for bottom right hand corner, and then I'm going to identify the color that it is. So it's bottom right hand corner and it is white and we're going to click create. Now you look at your photo and you're like, ah, it's not there. Nothing happened. You're right. All we did is we created a stamp. Now that stamp, we haven't put it in the ink pad and we haven't stamped it on our photo. We just created the rubber stamp. So let's go back up to Lightroom classic in the top corner. 
down to edit watermarks and we look ah it's different it's back to where it was yes but no so we come up here to this little drop down and we click on that and there it is scotty renner bottom right corner white awesome okay so i want to show you something um so we're going to click cancel we're going to go to lightroom classic and we're going to edit our watermarks as we click on this notice that down here in the, my options i can save or restore i cannot delete anything but watch what happens when i click on my watermark and then i go back up and i click on it again now i have four options so now i can rename it or i can delete it um, i don't want to delete it but if i wanted to i could click on delete and it would be gone and so that um, is how you delete a watermark if you created too many um, and how you can also rename it.